Welcome back, this is John Locke, and today I'm answering a question that I received from a person, and yes, you know who you are, uh, but I thought it would be good to share with everybody else. Uh, so the question went, we're thinking about embedding a bunch of YouTube videos into various web pages. So basically, we have YouTube videos and we're going to embed those uh, into pages. Would it be better for us to uh, take a transcription of the videos, put that in the post, or should we write a custom uh, page just for these videos? Now, I already answered you in private, but I thought I would share with the rest of the people. Uh, I do think that uh, for a video, it makes sense to write a custom post, uh, and I'm going to explain why. Now, if you were doing a podcast, if the question was, I'm embedding a podcast, should I take that transcription and embed it in the post? My answer would be 100% yes, you should do that. But for a video, it's a little bit different and I'm going to explain why. With the podcast, the only way that you can consume it is to listen. And so for people who are hearing impaired, they're deaf, whatever it is, the only way that they can get that information is to read it. Now with the video, uh, in YouTube especially, they have, um, they do auto transcribe and it's not always accurate. Sometimes it's, it's inaccurate. Uh, the better the sound is, the more accurate it, it seems to transcribe stuff. But what my recommendation for you, if you're, if you're doing uh, YouTube videos and you have a site where you're making articles, embed the video uh, wherever you can, do a transcription, closed captioned, uh, put that in the video. Now, I have not done that 100%. I've been very bad. I started out uh, doing well with this, and I haven't been so good with it recently, but, you know, shame on me. But definitely uh, do the transcription, put that in the video. Uh, but for the page, write a custom uh, written page. With the video, they can see uh, you, but they get, you know, like I said, even with YouTube, they do the auto transcriptions. They're often not accurate, but if you have the transcription, they can read it, okay? So, uh, even if they can't hear, they can still see it. But for the regular people who want to consume written content, uh, writing a post that does not follow what you're saying in the video, but perhaps cleans it up and is formatted in a way for people to, to read it in a written format, that's gonna be better for you overall. It's gonna be better for your SEO. It's gonna be better for your on-page metrics, and I think a lot of people are gonna stay on the page a lot longer. The truth of the matter is, is when we're making videos, we often you know, speak as if we're speaking, uh, like I'm speaking to you right now. I'm speaking to the camera, I'm speaking to the, you know, all the people who will watch this video in the future. But if I'm writing, I'm gonna write in a, a little bit different way, and I'm not going to have the exact same uh, phrasing as if I'm speaking. It's going to be really similar, but it's not going to be the same. Another thing with the written content, and, and especially um, if it's for tutorials or how-to or explaining things, you're going to want to have diagrams. You're going to, have, you're going to want to have screenshots. You're going to want to have images and photos and things like this that you want to add into the written content to break it up. You're going to want to have headlines and block quotes to break things up and to uh, break things into each section so people consume it little by little and understand exactly the concepts that you're explaining in that article. So written format, uh, a little bit better than just taking the transcription of the video and then just embedding it in the page. Now if that's where you need to start, that's a good place to start. And in fact, I will admit this very freely, a lot of the articles that I do nowadays start with this, these YouTube videos that I'm making. And what I'll do is I'll record the video, then I will take the uh, transcript of it, and I will uh, put that into a page and edit it into a way that's, that's written uh, for you know written, reading consumption, because it is a little bit different. Uh, vlogging is a little bit different from blogging. So I hope that answers that question. I know that we, we've discussed that. I hope that answers for all the people at home as well. Uh, definitely, uh, if you have a video and you're embedding it, do a transcription and add that to your closed captioning, but make a custom post written. Uh, for a podcast, yeah, the transcription is fine because that's the only other way 
that hearing impaired people will be able to, you know, get that content or consume it or read it or whatever. But for, uh, but for a post, no, you know, write that custom, embed the video, and then that way people can watch the video, they can get an overview, and if they want to come back and read the steps of the concepts that you're explaining, they can do that. Hope that makes sense. My name's John Locke. My business is Lockdown Design and SEO. I'm here every single day making videos on SEO, specifically for the industrial and manufacturing space. But hey, send me your questions. That's all I have for now. Hope you will subscribe. Till next time, peace.